talk turns into sweet dreams, sweet dreams turn into coffee in the morning. Uh, we talk street art, sarcasm, crash uh, uh, humor in high fashion. Peach color moon glitches the black dickens as we laugh over shotguns and talk. Mm, we have made it. <laughs> so, this is where we're staying for the next few days. We are at Getaway Ziggy. We just parked the car there. So, they have a good space. So, even if you have like a pickup truck or something like that, here is the fire kits and everything. It's got a whole bunch of logs. They've got the fire starter. Those are $2. This is our anniversary. We got s'mores for free. This is actually the size of where we're at. So I did the forest view. This is what the forest view looks like. Tomorrow we're gonna go on a hike. Right now he is prepping our grill ready because like I said, I got the sausages. Oh, you do. The thing is that it said to wrap the whole what? thing. Hold on. Hello YouTube, hello, hello. We are at the getaway house. This is where we're staying at. So cute. They have gave us a little note. Happy anniversary. S'mores on them. We've got everything we need. There's the bathroom. It's a little small. Now, washcloths, that is actually pretty great because a lot of people don't do washcloths. You nasty. And a full shower. It's actually a really big size. Super cute. Eh. Gotta figure out how to turn the heat on because it's cold. Oh! But yeah, no, it's nice. This is this is gonna be a vibe. And then that's the husband. Now we're gonna have fun. He's learning how to build the fire. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. So we can, I got some sausages to cook tonight. So we got sausages and then I got some salmon and I got some steak. Tonight it's gonna be sausages. Sausage. What? Sausage. We made fire. Good job, team. Now I'm gonna get the sausages and we'll start cooking, baby. Y'all, this girl done got a whole spray bottle. Let me see it. This is actually what I use for my lashes. Brand of sausages. Look at the mouth. There you go. My big spray <laughs> man. Gotta be my boom. Serve me up. <laughs> I got my sausages going. It should be about another four minutes. See our flame. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. And I got some sweet barbecue sauce. So I got Hawaiian rolls and I got the sweet and spicy. And this is the wine we're drinking. I always see people talk about Josh's and I always see ads, but it's actually pretty good. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. So I got my sausages cooking and I put some barbecue sauce on them. I put some more barbecue sauce on it. So they're nicely coated. And these are Italian sausages. That's all they had at Target. Okay, so this is the final outcome. Yeah. On the Hawaiian bread. I made us some hot chocolate. Got some dark hot chocolate. Oh, it's so good too. Oh. Good morning, YouTube. We are at day two and we are going to, well, I'm going to cook breakfast. Oh, I didn't show you guys our like kitchen setup slash vanity because we have to brush our teeth there. I'm gonna make some tea, but this is how big the refrigerator is. I didn't showcase how big it was when we got here. We had two bottles of wine. We drank one bottle yesterday. I have a whole thing of ice in here, like three pounds, I think. I've got salmon, steak. We've got food food. So when they say a mini fridge, it's not a mini fridge. This is a small refrigerator and then under here they give you aluminum foil paper towels there's a dustpan in here trash bags the sink is actually very efficient because you can dry it in here it's got a built-in rack oh and you can take it out i didn't even know you could take it out that's even more efficient cutting board soap sponge towels creamers utensils salt pepper olive oil they have provisions that you can buy plenty of storage so i put some of our stuff up here they've got books we were reading one book that was truly good the great escape 
I thought it was getting away. Oh, haha. <laughs> that girl said the great escape by Nicolas Cage. <laughs> getting away is actually a really good book, and we were on page 144 asking each other's question. I probably am doing a little bit of it. And we just found out that that lantern actually works, so we'll use that tonight. They've got a Bluetooth here. Um, I was able to hook up my phone, and it plays really well. And also, this is another place for storage. I just put all like our toiletries and stuff in there. That's where I'm gonna put that back. Also, a pro tip I wouldn't bring too big of luggage. These are the away carry on. I was gonna bring something bigger, but it would have just been too much space. So they have this space. We're able to put two of our suitcases. You can push them down like that. There's another spot where we've just been keeping our shoes, dirty clothes. I got this little cooler from Publix. It was $6. So we have all our provisions in there. He puts his shoes there because he's a size 15. And they also give you quite a bit amount of wrap. So just keep in mind that you can't put a whole bunch of luggage. So really be careful on where you put stuff and how much stuff you bring to the space. As you can see, it's not that big, but it's enough. And I was surprised for the refrigerator. That's why I wanted to show you guys like the full size of the refrigerator to know that you can bring food food. But I'm gonna cook some breakfast for us and see how to get down in cabin breakfast. Okay, so here is breakfast. He wanted scramble. I did my sunny side up. So everything bagel with bacon, mushrooms, egg, with some lemon and herb butter. I've got some fruit. Here is our breakfast spread. Got the tea. I got some fruit. What? Okay, so we are on our way to our hike. I've got our book bag all packed. I got two bananas, tripod, water, battery pack, phone, just in case anything happens. I cleaned everything pretty good for breakfast. Those are our dishes just drying. Those are our dishes drying. Like I said, there's a rack. So, about to go on our hike. Don't know where we're going. He knows where we're going. Oh, I know. You said you know where the path is. I have the phone. Oh, the phone's in the book bag. Why is the phone in the book bag? You said that you didn't need the phone. You said that the path was easy. Once we get on the path, yes. Uh-huh. On the road again. <laughs> Let's see. So you social distance. There's a cabin there. Some cabins have parking spots. Ours is not. They have little arrows to tell you where to go. <laughs> yeah, I did with him to put on Tim's. You know, I didn't know what kind of trail this would be. Oh, you need hiking boots. This is the path. I've been exercising. We're at the walking path now, and that's the upper trail. That's the lower trail. So I think this is kind of like where the trail begins, because we did the lower trail. So that was the upper trail. More altitude. Okay, so we tried to go on the tall. <laughs> see, you see, you see? Y'all see? That's a natural reaction. I am terrified of bugs. More terrified of spiders. Oh, spiders! Spiders! Get them off me! Get them off me! We're on the upper hill. One spider web. Okay, okay. Two spider webs. I was like, all right, it's getting a little difficult. Might have to turn it back around. Then he saw a live spider. I was like, nope. The lower trail is perfect. The upper trail, if you can handle the webs, go for it. Don't know what the top looks like. And that's it. Like, I try to be semi one with nature, but I know my limits. And I feel like you should always know your limits. I'm not even play with this. <laughs> Exactly. These are unknown spiders. These spiders, we don't know where they came from. Still cute though. Oh, whew. I'm pretty sure someone heard me scream like, what is going on? I ain't recorded first scream. It's baby. How's the trip? It's dope. I don't like spiders though, but it's dope. You heard it first. So this is what the upper trail looks like. There's all these trees. You don't know what's in these trees. As far as wildlife is concerned, haven't seen any. If you see a bear, fight it. Don't play dead. The only thing that we've seen so far has been spiders, grasshoppers, stuff like that. Nothing too major. There's a lot of campsites too. So I'd come back here. We just walked down because I wanted to see what was down here. And what's down here is outside of those beautiful extra parking and what happens pro tip the fire starters come with two little things and the instructions say no need to break it but i only use one and we're getting a good flame when i did it yesterday with two it was a big fire stuff was burning too quickly so i actually recommend using one you get your bang for your buck i've got some corn going i'm gonna put some tomatoes i'm gonna put some salmon i'm gonna cook some rice as well got some salmon cooking some corn it's cold it's cold got some tomatoes yeah. 
getting our wine together. This one's the upright. Okay, so this is what I've got for lunch. Throw some salmon, got some rice, tomatoes, and a mande. And the finished product is right here. What roles do love and affection play in your life? I think they're a big part of like what humanizes me. Otherwise, I'm just a rough soul. Hmm. I don't know how to answer that question. Alternate sharing. Something you consider a positive characteristic of your partner. Share a total of five items. Ooh, so that means you can say five things. You hold people accountable. You're persistent. You're very truthful. You show people you care more through your actions than what you say, which I think is a big positive. Like you're a very positive dreamer. Like you won't be like, nah, I don't think that's gonna work because you know, not in a sense of like, it doesn't make sense. You'll say it won't work because like, okay, logically you want to do something. You won't be like, okay, that's your dream. That's not gonna work. Like you're not one of those people. Be like, huh? Well, you know, it can work. You're very open-minded and positive. Five things about you. You are very caring as far as like you make sure that people are good. Like even when we like in a group, you're making sure that the group is good. Like how motivated you are in terms of fitness because. You being motivated to be healthy makes me want to be motivated to be healthy. I tell people, I'm like, look, find a partner that's going to do good in fitness because if you don't like to do fitness and the other person don't like to do fitness, you ain't y'all ain't never going to work out. You are willing to do stuff. Like, you're always willing to help. That's a good quality. Another characteristic is your love of God because that helped me get closer to God. You have the ability to let me be able to get my guard down because I'm very type A. So I think you're a really good protector. How close and warm is your family? Do you feel your childhood was happier than most other people's? My immediate family is pretty close. And yes, I know it was. Especially from the stories I heard in football. I don't think my family is warm. I feel like we're close as far as we do stuff together and mm -hmm. we're always doing activities. But as far as like the warmth aspect of showing affection, like hugging and stuff like that, not mm -hmm. so much. So I feel like my childhood was happier than most other people's. Being black, you see so much trauma in broken households. I think being black in the aspect, I feel like mine was happier than most. Make three true we statements for each. For instance, we are both in this room feeling. We are married. We are determined to improve our marriage. Love the Lord. We are both in this room feeling blessed to be with each other. We are both committed to growing. The game is 21! Or Blackjack for the Foxies. Boom. So you want to be first or you want me to be first? I want to be first. Alright. Hit you. Hit me. My turn. Hit me. Alright. What you want to do? I don't want to hit anymore. Okay. I'm going to say hit me. Alright. I'm done. You say you ready, right? Yep. You ready to show them? Yep. Now what you got? I got 20. Oh. Um, That's one for me. Okay, so I've got some, a little bit of the mushrooms left. Got some corn. I seasoned some potatoes. The steak is on the grill right now with onion and the broccoli. I'm gonna finish the broccoli in there. Waiting for my pan to get hot. Okay, I've got my steak, got the onions, and that's the broccoli in there. And that's our fire. Got the steak off the really grill. Got some leftover bacon. Got the mushrooms. Got the potatoes. Okay, so dinner is served. Bacon, mushrooms, steak, potatoes, broccoli. That's Big Man's plate over there. Red wine. And then we're going to have some happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for this meal. Thank you for allowing us to have another year of marriage and praying for many more. Amen. Christian. <laughs> this is a s'mores kit that they gave us. A little piece of chocolate. Walmart. Little marshmallows. So that is what the s'mores kit looks like. S'mores. Nice. I knew we only have five marshmallows. <laughs> I do chocolate first and marshmallow first. I do marshmallow first. I mean chocolate first. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought the chocolate's supposed to be melty. I don't know how to do it. I'm just making a bigger mess. Well, all right. There's your graham cracker. <laughs> break that too? No, there's my <laughs> graham cracker. Um. So.
and my s'more. Might not be able to see it because I'm, I'm black and I'm black. But the s'more's pretty good. Might not really be able to see him. Corey said his s'more was good too. He's not a s'mores guy, but he said his was good. Put mine on top, get it like a little toast toast. That's good. Thank you, getaway. Okay, so I got my hot water brewing. I made some milk in here with the hot chocolate because I didn't want to take the pot out to warm up the milk. But I still wanted it more creamy. My hot water here. Okay, so I saved one of the marshmallows and put it in my hot chocolate. And it tastes so good. This hot cocoa is so good. I did hot chocolate, dark chocolate with milk. And I heated up some hot water, put the hot water in the hot chocolate mixture, and then put the marshmallow on top. Good morning, good morning. So our last morning here. <laughs> Breakfast out, yesterday's dinner, basically. Gonna warm that up. Um, gonna move some stuff so we can wash our face and everything. And I'm gonna make some tea. I've got this tea in the morning, so that's what we're gonna do. Checkout is at 11. It is 8.50. We got less than two hours. I got a shake. Heating that up. I got the tea going right now. <laughs> we got 30 minutes for breakfast. He's eating his. All in all, this was like such a great stay. I would highly recommend. I would do it again. Actually, we would come back again. And it's just really nice, just simple cabin living. Bye bye, yo.